guys, David Chirac here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on downspike, juggle downspike, and this tutorial was suggested by Pasca Vlad KD, and here's an example of the trick, downspike, juggle downspike. Alright, so there was an example of the trick. Now, this trick's kind of a like a complex trick, so it's not going to come very easily. But, um, let's just get straight into this. You're probably, I wouldn't say you need to know how to do a normal juggle, but it would help quite a bit, so if you know those, that will just help you. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pull up to down spike, so make sure you know how to do that. And what I do is I have the small cup facing me. So this is what uh, the small cup facing up, this is just the way I do it. So I have the string to the left of me. This just helps me when I'm juggling it. So it makes it so like the string doesn't get tangled up. I don't know, it just, it's easier that way for me. So if you wanna do it that way, you can. So make sure, or if you want, you can have the small cup facing up. And what I do is just in down spike grip position, just hold the uh, the cups like this. Just grab the cups. So this is the grip you're going to be doing, and this is this is mainly for the initial throw. It just makes it a lot easier. I mean, you can do it like that, but it makes it a lot harder. So what I do, I uh, grab the cups like this. So now let's actually get into the trick. So the first trick you're going to have to know is a downspike grip swap uh, one turn to airplane. So I suggest you know this trick. If you know this trick, this is basically the first half of downspike juggle downspike. And if you don't know it, I'll go over it briefly right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees and you're just going to kind of give the Ken a little toss like this and make sure it's spinning this way. So give it a little toss, and as it does that, all in one fluid motion, you're just going to grab the Tama, and this is where coming, uh, holding the cups comes in clutch. Um, it's really easy, since your, your hands are super close to the Tama, to grab it after you throw it. So that's what holding the cups does to help. So this is the first part right here. Uh, just throw the Ken, grab the Tama. You don't even have to get it to airplane. Just let it rest there, like that. And this is the first part. Bend your knees, do it all in one fluid motion. And that's the first half of the trick. So after you have this down, make sure you have it down. Very consistent. Um, after you have that down, the next part is the throw of the Ken, or the Tama. So in slow motion here, you're gonna grab the Tama and the Ken's gonna be doing a rotation like this. And what I do is when it's kind of, the Ken is at this point when the spike is facing up, that's when I throw the Tama, switch to the Ken and grab it in down spike grip. So like I said, throw it. And when it's facing up, when it's facing normally with the spike facing up, that's when you throw the Tama and it's, this Ken's gonna spin a little bit more. And when you catch it, you're gonna be able to grab it in down spike grip and then complete the trick. Now one crucial part of this is the way you throw the Tama, because if you just spin the Tama all over the place, it's gonna be really hard to track the hole and spike it consistently. So what I do is I try and throw it up as straight as I can. So if you look, when I throw it, say we're at this position right here, I'm gonna just throw it straight up like this. Just practice this motion, throwing straight up. And that's what that's going to do is when you throw it, it's going to make it so the hole is on the very top and it's going to be very easy to track it and do a clean down spike. Just remember to throw it straight up and track it and down spike it. And even when you're learning it, you can even try and throw it a bit inward because sometimes it's really hard to throw it perfectly straight up and sometimes you need to throw it a bit inward so that it's still straight up. So remember these points, bend your knees, have your hands or your hand on the cups and bend your knees, quickly grab the Tama. When the Ken is at this point, that's when you do the swap and you catch the Ken, make sure to throw the Tama straight up 
spot it and down spike it. I'll do one more example right here. That was kind of bad. One more example right here. See, that time I kind of, when I threw the Toma, I still gave it a little bit of spin so it wasn't straight up. So it wasn't really like a down spike. That one, the hole was on the very top. So you're gonna want it on the top like that. Try and get really consistent with that because that's gonna make it look really good because no one wants to see an under spike like that. It's gonna make it really easy to do a clean down spike and be able to track the hole and spike it consistently. So yeah, I don't know if I really explained that well. It's kind of honestly a hard trick to understand at first, but just remember the first half and then the second half, it's kind of just a quick motion. And honestly, the Tama throw is the most important part. So just remember that. So if this tutorial helped, uh, make sure to leave a like tell me your suggestions for next week's tutorial down below make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace